Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of Tacky Tuesday. If this is the first Tacky Tuesday you've ever seen, hi, welcome, I'm Stacy, and every week I do short EMS cardiology lessons. And this week we're going to be going over premature atrial contractions. So first, let's define what a premature atrial contraction actually is. Premature atrial contractions, also referred to as premature atrial complexes, are heartbeats that fire too early from the top chambers of the heart, also known as the atria. PACs, or premature atrial contractions, tend to interrupt the underlying rhythm of the heart. So that may actually remind you of PVCs. If you haven't already seen my premature ventricular contractions video, I'll go ahead and link it up in the right-hand corner. But let's go over some of the characteristics of premature atrial complexes. So the rate and the regularity are actually determined by the underlying rhythm. Your P wave with a PAC is present, but it's typically a different morphology. So the P wave is usually present and it's upright, but it looks a little bit different than the other P waves. Your PR interval is typically normal, but it can be a little bit prolonged. And the QRS complex is usually narrow or less than 0.12 seconds. Some causes and risk factors of PACs can include hypoxia, caffeine or other stimulants like drugs, alcohol, even smoking can cause a PAC, electrolyte imbalances, myocardial ischemia or myocardial infarctions, anxiety, uh, different kinds of medications, digoxin toxicity, hypertrophy, congestive heart failure, pregnancy, and hypertension. All of these can cause PACs or be risk factors for PACs. Some of the signs and symptoms of premature atrial complexes can include chest pain, shortness of breath, weakness, syncope or dizziness, even flutters in your chest, nausea, vomiting, being diaphoretic, some of the possible EMS treatments can include getting a 12 lead, that's obviously how you would see the PACs, vitals, starting an IV, maybe obtaining a blood draw for the hospital, administering oxygen, but the main thing is to treat your patient and also search for underlying causes. So is this something that your patient normally has? To be perfectly honest with you, many people walk around that have PACs, PVCs, PJCs, and it may clinically mean nothing. It may be benign, and it, it doesn't really mean anything or maybe the patient has just drank too many cups of coffee that day. So that's why it's so important that we treat our patient and their complaint and not really get hung up with, oh yeah, I see PACs on the monitor, so what am I gonna do for that? There's really not a whole lot we can do for that. All we can do is while we have a living, breathing, speaking patient in front of us is ask them how they feel and treat their complaint. And that's about all I have for premature atrial complexes today. Thank you guys so much for watching. Watching, and I will see you next week. Bye!